Hello, my lady. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Let's review Toku. Let's review Toku. Let's review Toku now. Hey, everyone. It's me, B3, back with another Tokusatsu TV review. Waka waka. So we have reviewed Power Rangers Turbo and Power Rangers Mighty Morphin. Now let's review the one between them, Power Rangers Zeo. Zeo was a big deal when it came out because it was like, wow, new costumes and powers and everything. Which we hadn't really done. We'd gotten new powers and new zords and stuff, but they never really changed the basic dinosaur costumes. This was the first time they did that, probably for cost-effective -effect reasons. Because uh, Saban did not want to change the costumes. He wanted them to stay the dinosaur costumes for, like, ever. Because he thought it would ruin the brand. But it's actually what's kept Power Rangers alive. I talked about that more in the previous review, in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers review. So check that out if you want to hear my full thoughts on uh, why Power Rangers needs to be new characters and new powers and stuff each season. Basically, it just uh, keeps it from being stale and makes it new and refreshing each season. And sells more toys. But! <laughs> uh... Zeo, looking back on it, is a pretty standard season. Like, there's nothing super special about it when compared to other seasons. Once again, it was really special when it premiered, but now that we've had several new suits and power sets and stuff, it just kind of seems like your average season. It's basically no different than the better parts of the Mighty Morphin seasons. Because I don't think Zeo is better than Season 2 of Mighty Morphin, but I do think it's better than Seasons 1 and 3 of Mighty Morphin. Lots of people tell me they don't remember Zeo at all, which is weird, but they remember Mighty Morphin and Turbo. And lots of people tell me they remember Zeo as being bad when it's easily better than Turbo. Uh, I think a lot of people just didn't watch Zeo. I don't know why. Uh... But Power Rangers Zeo is a pretty standard season. There's nothing real special about it. It has good practicals, as always. Uh, nice integration between uh, American footage and Japanese footage. You can kind of tell a little bit when it's Japanese footage. You can easily tell in Turbo, but you can, you can kind of tell in Zeo, too. You can. Uh... But I guess my main problem my main problem is just the characters. Like, we got new powers and outfits and stuff, but almost nothing changed, because it was still Zordon. It was still Alpha. Right? And the Rangers were still the same exact characters. We didn't get any new characters, really. And as I said in the Mighty Morphin Review, the characters are all too good to be true. They're good for kids to look up to, but hard for literally anyone to relate to, because they're good at any sport or activity they try. They're constantly doing charity. Uh, they can do no wrong. They have straight A's. They're just good at everything they do and are perfect people with seemingly no problems that last more than 30 minutes. You know? More relatable characters. Like, I'm watching Beast Morphers right now, very relatable characters. Very real problems. I relate to the Red Ranger hardcore, because my dad also thinks I'm a disappointment. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, you just, like, I think it's better for kids to be able to look up to the Power Rangers than I think it's more important. For, I think it's more important for kids to look up to Power Rangers than it is to relate to them, to be completely honest. I looked up the Power Rangers, and I watched it so much, it might have actually made me a better person. But, Zeo's just nothing special. Don't skip it. I don't... The only seasons I'd really recommend skipping are maybe, like, Operation Overdrive, and then some most of the Saba seasons for... Not Saba seasons, most of the Saban seasons for the Neo Saban. But don't skip Zeo. It's a pretty standard season. Uh, plus... Mighty Morphin Seasons 1 through 3, Zeo, Turbo, and In Space are all technically one big story. But here's something I really like about Zeo. The Machine Empire! I actually thought the Machine Empire was really, really cool. I really liked the villains. I liked the king and his wife, who I think is actually voiced by someone who's pretty big these days now, maybe? Uh, I looked it up before the video, and now I can't remember for the life of me. I actually suck. But... It's just, it's it's a fun season. 
a standard season, but a fun season. So definitely check out Power Rangers Zio. But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all next time.